On today's show, we have Temba. Tall Area Mountain Biking Association. Amy Fish on the show. So excited. We're going to talk about how they need to raise a few more dollars for this great cause and how you can get involved. If you have a backhoe, a shovel, a backpack, I don't Roger. know. Your kid has a Tonka truck. Oh, right. Yeah, something like that. Plus, we're going to have Lauren Lindley calling in from the Tahoe Girls Drinking Club with her spot of the week. And all the updates and information, plus your golf report. Will Locals Day happen? Will it not? Will it? Will it not? Coming up on today's show. Stay with us. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Tahoe, Tuesday, May 7th outside right now. 40 degrees and still raining here in Tahoe. I kind of feel so a little organish. 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 Like Oregonish. Oh, yeah. Oregon. I like it. Amy Fish in the studio with me. Once again, you're like a regular on the show. I like it. We're training Amy just in case I decide to take vacation. It's going to be Wake Up Tahoe with Amy Fish. I was such a shy kid, so this is really good for me. <laughs> so excited to have her back. Tamba, Tahoe Area Mountain Biking Association, where we're talking about a lot of the things going on with you guys. Still trying to raise some money, yep. some much-needed funds. But first things first, Lake Tahoe Golf Course has just announced that they are not going to hold local days tomorrow or Thursday. They've rescheduled it for next Wednesday there. So they got Belfour, the water extraction um, specialist, mm -hmm. on call. So as soon as it mm -hmm. stops raining, they're going to bring Belfour out. And they're just going to put all their fans out there and draw out the entire course so right. it's nice and plush for us next week. It doesn't take long here. No. Yeah. yeah. One day. So yeah, if you're planning on attending Locals Day at Edgewood or at Lake Tahoe Golf Course, it is rescheduled for next week. But Tamba, that rain never slows a mountain No, we love down. it. That's perfect. Packs okay. our soil in. We is love it. Is that what it does? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Packs it's it already so dry. <laughs> yeah. It's very dry here, but I'll tell you what, everything is so green and plush. We never see this. Don't get used to it. No, no, don't get used to it. It'll stop raining tomorrow. It'll be 150 degrees. But coming up on the show today, we're going to talk Mother's Day events because we're mm -hmm. going into Mother's Day weekend. We got to discuss that. Plus, concert lineups just announced at Mont Blue and one of your favorite tribute bands coming to Lake Tahoe as well. Super Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amy Fish, first things first, Tamba. Yep. Good fundraiser the other night. Thanks for coming. Oh, it was great. It was a great it. turnout. Um, I think it was our biggest turnout yet. So we raised about $2,300, and it's being matched, so double that. Double that. So now you're at around $6,000? We're at 6000 right now, a little over $6,000. we are aiming to raise $10,000. And that will go towards? Building out Lower Corral Trail. Or Corral Loop. Yes. Like we've stand corrected yes. a numerous times yes. on the show. It's okay. crowd loop and it's not crowd, crowd trail loop, tomato, tomato, whatever, yeah. whatever. But right. you guys are kind of doing some work on the trail still to this day. I mean, we're still working on um, our trails, but we want to hire professional builders, people who will come out and spend all day. You don't want burning no, their backs. You don't want no Craigslist guy showing no, up. And no, like no, his, no, no, no. His pick. No, people no. always say that. Oh, I have a chainsaw. And, and I know how to use it. Yeah, you do, though. I told you I volunteered for that. Well, but uh, quick things first. People getting into the mountain biking season, getting their bikes out, getting them yep. serviced. We needed, kind of want to get a trail update from you if we could. Sure, sure. I mean, right now, I'd stay inside and keep your bikes clean. But once it dries out this weekend, <laughs> um, Corral is riding super right now. So Corral and Cedar and Sidewinder and even the connector trail right above it, it's all melted out. So. Nice. That's early. One of the earliest. Earliest ever. ever. Yeah. yeah. This mm -hmm. is incredible. I know. Mountain biking is only going to get better. It is. And the best part about mountain biking after a rainstorm is what? It's fast. Yes. Yeah. Hauling and it. it is not dusty. We no. get a lot of dust here. It's so true. Yeah. A little mud never hurt anybody. So how do people, um, a lot of mountain bikers out there, mm -hmm. want to find out where to go? Do there, is there maps for these things? Yeah. If you go to tamba.org, you go on there and there's a map. And we also have trail conditions and upcoming events, and they can also join. And they can also click on the big donate button and donate. Now, so. if you join, you get one of these. Not the A cup that I'm currently in, but this Tamba t shirt. <laughs> Pretty I, cool. You're wearing it really well. I've worn yeah. it every single day since I've gotten it. <laughs> I've yet to wash it. I can it. smell it. 
Yeah. Uh, it does kind of have that order. Yeah. But yeah. A special shout out this today to one of our live audience members, Doug Williams. Three region blend of coffee here. Thank you, Doug. Lush and herbal. Ooh, herbal. You should always make sure you coffee up before going on the show. Thank you, Doug Williams. We are big, strong proponents of coffee here. But Tamba, Tahoe Area Mountain Biking Association. Tamba.org. That's all you got to know. Yeah. Didn't quite make the cut for the Bell Helmet Grant, which we are still pissed about. I know, 1%. But I think it's really working out to our advantage. We're not going to get the press from Bell, but we're really showing everyone that we can build this ourselves, which is really exciting. So true. We don't need anybody. No. Yeah. We're Tahoe. We're I mean, we, want, we do want some money, though. So <laughs> Let's help them raise some money. Go to Tampa.org for more information. We're going to talk more about that coming up. But Camp Richardson Resort. Now, lots of people ride over there. I ride over there. All I the tow my son on the bike path all the time. I love it. The best yeah. part is you can stop for, like, a rum runner on that, like, halfway point. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Camp Richardson Resort just unveiled their, listen to this, Rum Runner Cruises. Mm. Taking the joys of Rum Runner, combining them with a cruise... Can life get any better? Well, it like incorporate bikes. That would be fun too. There you go. Yeah. We're going to talk more about what they got going on, plus a water taxi they're going to unveil this year as well. We're going to take a quick break here on Wake Up Tahoe, take a look at Tahoe South, and we'll be back. Hey, this is, uh, this is Todd Jackson here with Big Blue Adventure at the Emerald Bay Trail Run, standing on Lester Beach with beautiful Lake Tahoe behind me on a spectacular September day and we're here at the finish of one of our trail runs which is along the coast of Lake Tahoe here. We started in Eagle Point campground this morning and we ran about 7.5 miles up here to the finish. This is part of the Tahoe trail running series, one of uh, eight or nine events that happen throughout the year in Lake Tahoe. We had about 170 runners today from all over here, California, Nevada and there's quite a few out of state people too. That's one of the nice things about Tahoe is it is such a destination that we draw people that are traveling throughout throughout the country. Running in Lake Tahoe is pretty pretty spectacular. I mean, it's pretty hard to beat. A lot of people say that, but if you look behind me, you can see that it really is hard to beat here. We've got great trails, a lot of different a lot of different terrain, uh, a lot of different elevations, either flat courses or ones that have a lot of climbing. Beautiful pine trees, just scenic, scenic, you know, exposures all over, all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, and the, uh, the Tahoe Trail Running Series has, has several events and a lot of different distances, and we really cater to pretty much any, any entry level, meaning there's kids' races, there's 5Ks for beginners, and a lot of the people that are racing out here are actually very, very talented, world-class athletes. We also recently just added the Heavenly Mountain Run, which is a great event in South Lake Tahoe. We have quite a variety, distance races, 50Ks, 5Ks, and kids' races. Welcome back to the show. We left off talking about Camp Richardson. Uh -huh. The Rum Runner Cruise is going on there. The best part is they get back off the cruise. Get on their and bikes. Everybody drives and rides home. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Think safety first. Yeah, tell us you experienced the. I Camp think Ridge that the Camp before. Rich bike path can be the most dangerous place to go on a bike ride. It's like Burning Man on Wheels. There's all kinds of shenanigans. <laughs> Camp Rich bike trail is the only bike trail with one of those little. Uh, Red blood alcohol level oh, breather it should. things I think like that's needed. right there where you just like have on the bike trail. Usually you, you have them in bars yeah. now. They just have it on the bike trail there. But do you ride that bike path? No. Really? I, I walk it. I am very responsible. <laughs> I don't want to get a biking under the influence. No. 
<laughs> but Camp Richardson will be starting their cruises. That is opening up Memorial Day, May 28th. And then they also have a water taxi for 18 bucks. They'll kind of take you from Ski Rim Marina to Zephyr Cove to Timber Cove, drop you off. I don't know what you do when you get there, but it's kind of like Then you get can off, take the Nifty 50 trolley back. So, yeah. so true. Have so fun. true. So the Nifty 50 will also be going on there as well. And uh, also, concert lineup. Our own at Fabulous Tahoe just unleashed his new concert lineup before this upcoming month. So we're going to take a look at that here coming up. But first of all, big announcement coming in. The Good Vibes Summer Tuber with Revolution, Modest Yahoo, Collie Boots, Zion One, New Kingston, Amp Live at the Mont Blue Outdoor Events Center August 21st. You know any of those bands? I'm really not. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that I just follow. I, I, just talk, I tell you everything you need to know there. But the Outdoor Events Center here is absolutely incredible. This summer sounds like it's going to be awesome. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. Plus, I'll tell you, one of your great greatest cover bands, we kind of hinted to mm -hmm. early on. Neil Super Diamond. Diamond. Yes, yeah. yes. Tell me more. You're not going to make me sing. Well, we're going to sing it on the way out. Okay, but yeah. okay. You've been there. You saw it. High energy. I think it's really fun. It's a good time. I mean, it's. I don't think it's cheesy. It's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. May 11th, so you can catch Neil Diamond's tribute by band, Super Diamond. Mm -hmm. And that's, people say that show is better than like the original. Really? That's what they tell I've me. I've never seen Neil Diamond. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. We'll sing Swing Carolina okay. here coming okay. up on the show. Maybe I could convince you to do it. Okay, maybe. <laughs> but Tampa, trails looking good. You need volunteers for this organization? We do need volunteers. Thank you. That was good. Um, we have our first trail day coming up on May 19th. We're going to be working on Toads, which is my favorite trail. Where's Toads? Toads is off of Oneidas. Do you know where Oneidas yeah, is on Pioneer? Exactly. Yeah, so we're going to meet down there at 9 o'clock, and we're going to be fixing a lot of damage that happened last year due to logging. So people could come out. They don't need to bring tools. We'll have tools and hard hats. They just need to bring <laughs> pants and gloves and a good attitude, and we'll provide the beer and snacks. You just got everybody's yeah. attention in Tahoe. Beer and provide snacks. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> What's this whole logging thing though? You should have them like put logs, like line up the logs and everything. That's a lot of work. Let them help you out. Okay. Okay. We'll work on that. May 19th. May 19th travel yeah. trail days. Get everybody out there. Now they all they have to do is bring themselves. Bring themselves and, pants. and some pants. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a shirt. How's your husband doing? He's fantastic. Yeah. What's yeah. he up to these days? He's working hard right now. Doing what? Uh, he works over at Design Workshop. He's a landscape architect. Now you know, is he landscape architecting all the uh, corral trails? No, 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 no. That's not like, specialty. Like, we need no, to put no, a flower no. box over no. here. No, no, that's not his thing. He's going to install some lighting. That's all he's going to do? No. Install no. lighting on the trail? Yeah. LED lights, like runway sticks? How wonderful would that would be? Would that be amazing? Yeah. We need to work on that. I think we'll have to raise some more money. This just announced Big Five Sporting Goods will be coming to Lake Tahoe, opening up in the next two weeks. So oh, that'll be good for that plaza. Huge addition going on down by the Y, directly across from TJ Maxx. So you can go to Big Five and get all your... You know who else will love that? Who? Lauren Lindley at Pearl Azumi. She, she will love is. it. Yeah. Speaking of Lauren Lindley, she's going to be calling in. Because this whole drinking club, this Tahoe Girls uh -huh. Drinking Club. They, Does you have to be a girl? You can't go? I tried. Oh. I've sent in my application. I've been denied like seven <laughs> times now. I keep yeah. changing my profile, you know, photoshopping myself, mm -hmm, giving myself mm -hmm. long hair, added earrings. Yeah. They, they keep catching me. But she's okay. going to be calling in with her Tahoe Girls Drinking Club pick of the week. Okay. If she's sober enough, right? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be talking with her later on in the show. But we are so excited to have Tamba back on the show today. The rain gonna freshen things up a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, just make it easier to play in the dirt, right? It does. This is what we like to see out here. I wish this happened like every two weeks. Just to kind of freshen things up. Uh huh. It'd be kind of cool to like put a bike track in around Edgewood. You want to work on that? Yeah, let's work on that. It? We can just okay. put like a little trail there so you can have some jumps and stuff. Yeah, Keep everybody better Edward. entertained. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take another break here. We're going to check out Beaks Kids Day, which happened over the weekend. They Fun. built flower boxes. They had to wear our hats on their own. Did you go? No, oh, I was out of town. But we're going to check in with Beaks right now. We'll be back. Prices for the kids. Are the first or, well, well, the or other lady, the, no. I thought your sister was here. Oh. Well, Lauren Lindley Photography is here today, and she's doing her photo booth. You can find her at laurenlindley.com. Oh, see, I, I knew that. I thought her sister was here. <laughs> yeah. you, you ruined it. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Welcome back to the show. Amy Fish still with me. Thanks. How come you are not part of the Tahoe Girls Drinking Club yet? I don't know. I'm pretty lame. 
Really? <laughs> this is it. It's a, it's a strict little application process. I don't think I'm cool enough. They make you like breathe in one of those blood alcohol level meters oh, really? and make sure like you're you above have a 0.05. Yeah. yeah, you have to be above a right, 0.05 right, or else right, right. you like x off of it. I have it. to work on that. I'll on train. the phone with us right now is Lauren Lindley, kind of the director of the oh. Tahoe Girls Drinking Club. <laughs> Lauren, are you with us? Hello, good morning. There she is right there. Now, Lauren, tell us about the All Tahoe Drinkers Club, or Drinking Club. Ladies Drinking Club. Ladies Drinking Club, and how come I cannot be an official member? Oh, it's Drew. You can stop by any time. <laughs> I think that's it. We, uh, we like to go out every Thursday for happy hour, and uh, I just wanted to call in and let everybody know our recommendations for all recommendation this week for where you should go if you want to have your own girl drinking club. All right, I got my pen in hand and I'm ready. So this week, this week's happy hour of choice is the girls' night every Thursday at Opry Wine Bar. Opry Wine Bar is on the corner of Lake Tahoe Boulevard and Ski Run. And every Thursday from four to close, they do four and five dollar wine and bubbly three dollar beer specials. They've got appetizer specials. Um, it's a really great way to go to people out of the and find some friends and uh, check out one of our great local establishments. So, Opry Wine Company. Yeah, I Amy, love it. It's Amy, walking distance from my house. See? So, Perfect. you are part of, like, the Opry All Girls Drinking Club. I should be. Yeah, I should be there right now. <laughs> Official member. Sure's yeah. to come soon. <laughs> Lauren Lindley, who's all going to be there? Uh, Lou, Jim Blackman, of course. It's Georgia Riley. Uh, Amy Fish, if she wants to join us. So. <laughs> You've been called out, girl. I think I should leave the house. And Drew with you. We'll all be there. Opry Wine Company. That is what date? Uh, every Thursday, every Thursday from four to close, it's Girls Night Out. They also, if you don't want to go to Girls Night Out, they also do, um, they're doing Tasting Tuesdays, and it's two-for-one tastings in May for locals every Tuesday at mm. 6 o'clock. Love it! On the calendar, Lauren Lindley, thank you so much, our all-girls oh, drinking okay. club correspondent. How, what's your blood alcohol level at right now, Lauren? And it's, I, it's full of coffee. I'm like super caffeinated. <laughs> that's all she needs, right? <laughs> You've seen Lauren on the show before. Yes, that's all she needs. Morning. Morning, morning, night. That's right. <laughs> Lauren, thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Opera Wine Company, looks like that's where we're going. And wine is gluten-free. So, you know, if Good you're, point. you're on a restricted diet, just go drink some wine. <laughs> yeah. Drink your dinner. Why not? Also going to come up, we're going to talk about motherhood out loud. Coming here to Mont Blue. Another one of our good friends, Ginger. I love Ginger. Yeah. Whew. Another high she's energy. She's wild. Oh, boy, she's wild. But first of all, Alex Ramon is taking center stage nightly at the Horizon Resort Casino right across the street from the beautiful Mont Blue here. And you can catch his magic show there. Now he's putting on his little performances in the Heavenly Village at 2 p.m. each and every day. Just like a little teaser. Yeah. Maybe not today. Not today. Well, he might show up today. Okay. You know, if he's such a good ma magician, right. he should just like turn off the rain for uh -huh. his little performance. Okay. We need to question him a little bit. <laughs> Guy's been on like Ringling Brothers Circus. He's been on all these big shows. So Alex Ramon, we're going to have him on the show here shortly. Fun. Hopefully uh, do a little trick with him. But yes, he will be in the Heavenly Village at 2 p.m. today. But first, we're going to take a qu another quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk motherhood out loud. Coming to Mont Blue. We're going to, if you have a kid or a mother, which yeah. I think most of us do have a mother, you're going to want to stay tuned to this and check this out. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back. Motherhood Out Loud coming up. The show was amazing. Wonderful. Incredible. The writing was superb. When Sammy was three, he wanted a Cinderella dress from the Disney store. It was two shades of blue with a little cap sleeve. We told the sales clerk it was a birthday present for a little girl in his class, but when we got home, he put it on. It touched on every human emotion. I probably cried through the whole thing. But it's funny, too. God, I hate the park. If anyone had told me I'd be sentenced to five to ten years in the park, I'd have stuck with a cat. I saw myself in bits and pieces of each of the different little skits. The gay father was the funniest. My partner Steve and I decided to take the leap into parenthood. We'd been together eight years. That's like 56 in hetero time. Anybody can relate to it. You could relate to the mom. I could relate to the mother-in-law. I loved a man who had two daughters. To be a mother, you had to be stronger than I was. If you're a child, it connects you closer to your mother, and if you're a mother, it connects you closer to your parents. He finally gets mom to put two feet in his car and whisks her and dad off to the airport. 
leaving me standing there waving, feeling lonelier than I have in my whole life. I loved it. You leave here like wanting to go call your mother, which is as it should be. I would love to see it again. Welcome back to the show. Amy Fish joins me. We're kind of stepping back. Yeah. Into 1983. Time machine time. Time machine. Broo. <laughs> Pegging your pants. Remember the big bangs? I had big bangs. I, I curled mine under. Did That's you? what I did. You know, you'd burn your forehead with the curled under bangs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crimp the sides. Yeah. I used to try to crimp. I'm like, Mom, I want to crimp my hair. She's like, uh, uh, son, step back. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first, before we get to the time machine, Motherhood Out Loud, you just saw a little taste of it. That's coming to Mont Blue. That'll be May 12th. A little matinee for Mother's Day, but also showings will be May 9th and 10th in the Mont Blue showroom. So, super excited. Out of there. That's what I'm taking my mom for Mother's Day because you know Mother's Day when you have a sibling, it's yeah. like a competition. Oh really? Oh yeah, because it's like yeah. oh you know I'm gonna get mom mm -hmm. on my side. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take her this or I'm gonna buy, get her that or fire a cruise. I'm taking my mom to motherhood out loud. Should I have another child then just so I get more attention maybe? Yes. Okay. Not just one because they're like ah mom <laughs> yeah. will love me no matter what. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile you know when you have two siblings like. Oh, you're going to send mom a card? Like, it's just this little comp competitive thing. But, That's uh, fun. It's going to be a fun event. Ginger, you know her. Wife. I love Ginger. Yeah. She's yeah. going to be in the show. She is a great actress. Yeah. Yeah. So Very talented. For more information, ValhallaTahoe.com or MontBlueResort.com for that information. But we are going into the time machine now. Mm-hmm. We're back. Cisco and Dottie by Nature. <laughs> I don't know. Just what, released. Yeah, fun. At Jack Durst of At Fabulous Tahoe saying, hey, you got to talk about this. We talked about it. <laughs> we're coming to Peak <laughs> Night Club. We're coming to Peak Night Club Memorial Day weekend along with first CD I ever bought, Vanilla Ice. Really? All three of them, back to back to back. Huh. What was the first CD you ever bought? I'm thinking that it was Pearl Jam. Oh. I think that's what it was. That makes yeah. more sense. Yeah. That's a little more respectable than Vanilla Ice. Everybody's like, who's this dude right there? <laughs> but there you go. Got, got back to back. You got Cisco. You got Naughty by Nature and Vanilla Ice for Memorial Day at Peak Nightclub inside Harris and Harvey's. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in this weekend, Boogie Nights will be in full effect Saturday night again at 8 o'clock. And I love this theme. Their new theme for this weekend, due to Mother's Day, is the Hot Mom Contest. Oh! You, I see you, Jordan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes. I will be there to judge the event, and I'll tell you what, Amy <laughs> Fish has already got my vote. <laughs> Put you down. Thanks for that. I'm going to vote an extra time for you. There we go. What do you plan on wearing? To Hot Mom's Night? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to dig something up. Um, something boogie-ish, I guess. Let's pull up yeah. sensations.com here <laughs> see what we can find. Yes, uh, Mom of the Hot Moms will be battling it out at Boogie Nights in the... 100 bucks. Oh, really? I think that sounds like how much a costume would cost. But see, the point yeah. is, is that we can raise money for Tamba. Oh, right. This. And, you know, since our donations are getting doubled, that would be $200. There you go. So all the awesome. Tamba members out there, tweet, email, call yeah. Amy Fish and get her involved. Let's help her win the Hot Moms contest going on at Boogie Nights <laughs> this weekend so we can raise money for the trail project. Right. Think about the trail Think and the, the kids. Exactly. Yeah. Amy's carried a check to the, to the Trail <laughs> Foundation from Boogie Nights. Hot mom contest. You, can, you can't say you didn't contribute. Right. Right? <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you all there. Lake Tahoe Community College also going to unveil women's soccer. So that's pretty interesting news. That'll be coming 2014, trying to expand upon, you know, the junior college mm -hmm. system, the good grant just provided by the state of California. So if you're a soccer fan or you want to play mm -hmm. soccer, start, you know, get your kids involved in soccer because there'll be scholarships available. Yeah, scholarships. Yep. That's okay, going to be a good thing. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of a little bit of what's going on around the area. Uh, I can't say enough about Motherhood Out Loud, though. It's going to be a fun event. Mm -hmm. That will also lead into their the venues they got going out of the hall all the time, which is the Renaissance Fair. Mm -hmm. They have plays there all the time in movie nights. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's a good time for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know Michelle Bennett Hirschfield? Mm -mm. Uh, local here. Mm. She's been around forever. She actually is going to act in this play. So oh. we're really excited to see yep. her actress skills. Yeah. Fahala, though. Renaissance Fair, if you haven't been yet, Big Beers mm -hmm. and the Steins. Have you been? No, I'm working on my costume. What okay. should I wear? I don't know. Uh, something poofy. Poofy? Yeah. Poofy. And your Tamba shirt. <laughs> Good point. It's going to yeah. be sponsored by Tamba. Right. But last but not least, we're going to leave off. We need people with excavators, shovels, we, fuel. Yeah, we need a mini excavator and we need fuel. And we also need lodging for two weeks in June for some professional trail builders to come out and build out the trail. So 
Give me a holler if you've got any of these things. Um, webmaster. Not talking about the little ones. No. Um, webmaster at mountainbiketahoe.org. That's all you gotta do. So you're looking for so, bobcats, backhoes, uh-huh. any of that stuff. Right, and fuel. And fuel. And lodging. What do those things run on? Are they green yet? Are they running like cooking oil? Uh, uh, <laughs> they get all the cooking oil from around the area. All right, we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that. Yeah. And money, and money. We still need money. Money. How could they donate? Tamba.org. Tamba.org. Click on the donate button. That's all you gotta it's do. very easy. Easier than voting. I'm glad you're going to participate in Boogie Nights this weekend okay. and try to make a little money for Tamba. <laughs> Tuesday nights, it's Tuesday Sippers at Opre Wine Company. Tasty Tuesday is what they're calling it. So stop by for that. That's happening tonight. Adra would usually do that, but she's on hiatus. Mm. If anybody sees Adra, feel free to return her to the show. We'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday, for another edition of Wake Up Talk. We want to thank all of our live studio audience. Thank you, Doug Williams, for making it possible for me to make it here every morning. Tampa.org, let's support this great cause. Amy, always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having Come me. On Anytime. Over. I love it. Let us know how the Boogie Nights uh, Hot okay, Mom contest Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, we'll represent it. See you guys tomorrow, guys. <laughs>